Before you view this video, watch the three earlier videos on the half adder shown in this playlist. Let's add 0 to 0 and we get 0. If we add 0 and 1, we get 1. 1 and 0, we get 1. 1 and 1 is not down, carry 1. We can now regard this row here as A and this row as B. And we can draw a schematic diagram that takes as its input A and B and its output is sum and carry. We can now produce a truth table for the half adder which takes A and B as the inputs and that the outputs will be the sum and the carry. And these are the various input combinations for A and B. If we now have a look at this addition here, we can see that this appears in the truth table as this combination here, i.e. both A and B zero. And we can see that gives us a sum of zero and a carry of zero. Now this addition here appears in the truth table as A being a zero and B being a one. And we can see that that gives us a sum of one and a carry of zero. Now this addition appears in the truth table as A is a one and B is a zero. And we can see that that gives us a sum of one and a carry of zero. And finally, we can see that this addition here in the truth table appears as A being 1 and B being 1, which gives us a sum of 0 and a carry of 1. Now I've copied the truth table here to allow us more space to actually derive the sum of min terms for the sum and for the carry. So starting with the sum, we can see we have a 1 here, which gives us the min term not a and b. This gives us the min term of a and not b. Therefore the sum is not a and b or a and not b. We now do the carry, we can see we have a 1 here and that is a and b. Therefore the carry is simply a and b. Now we should recognize this expression here as being that of the exclusive OR gate. Consequently, we can show this as follows. A is exclusively ORed with B. Now I can produce the combinational logic circuit for this because I can now realize that I can produce the sum using an exclusive OR gate, which is shown here. So there we can see we have the sum part, and of course now we need the carry part, so we want A and B there, so that's simply taking a tap off the A and B as you can see. So this is the actual sum output, and this is the carry output. And what we have here, this combinational circuit, actually gives a half adder. Of course this particular circuit only requires the two gates, the exclusive OR and the AND gate. And the previous videos in this playlist have shown you how to design a half adder but they have used different gates. So I recommend you look at all four on the half adder and see the different ways in which the same functionality can be produced by a number of different layouts in terms of the logic gates and their connections.